Hello on YouTube, welcome to another episode of Metal by Brian. It's been a while, it's been a long while, uh, but I thought I'd give you a quick run through of the, the latest project, which you saw briefly in a previous video, the 1979 Merc 307D van. And uh, I'll give you a run through on what my plans are for this old girl. She, uh, I originally got it with the intention of um, fully restoring it because I was thinking about going uh, back to being fully self-employed but I've changed my mind now I'm going to stick with teaching um, uh, when I was gonna go self-employed I uh, decided I was gonna restore it to pristine condition and have it in like a nice uh, those that know your Merc colors will know saft grun I was gonna have it in saft grun I thought it really pop in that color um, but now that I'm gonna stick with teaching I think I'm going to stick with the patina because I actually I love I love patina. I'm all about patina, um, so I think I'm going to stick with all the the rust and everything like that. You, you think it would be an absolute rot box, and there is certain spots on it that I do need to address the rot on. Um, the usual, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll pop the bonnet, and then you can see. usual areas around the the front of the bulkhead just down there need somebody's had to go at it in the past but it's not to the standard that i'm happy with um but the bulkhead and in the cowlings is all solid somebody's actually tried uh and it must have worked because it, it's it seems to have done the job they've put some wax oil or dinner troll or something down there used engine oil something like that um so and the back of it where the back of the cab is it's all solid around there. It's just started flaking the paint off, but it's it's absolutely solid when you start rubbing around there. So in general, for the for its year, it's in really good condition. Um, it is a 307D, which obviously for the year it would be, but it's had a 601 fitted. So in fact, it's more like a 308D now. So I have the mighty 80 odd horses rather than 75. Uh, I've done a little bit to it already, not much. Um, I fitted the the radio. It's only got two speakers at the minute. Eventually, it will have a nice audio system in it. Um, I bought this this old Blaupunkt 1981. Uh, this this era of Blaupunkt, um, and I bought it off eBay, and I paid forty some quid for it. Um, and then the usual story happened where loads of people said to me, "Oh, yeah, I've got one of them. You could have had for free." And I'm just like, "Oh, that's just you know." usual story it always happens after you've already bought something um but i was really annoyed when it arrived because the the listing didn't mention anything about the fact that somebody got a grinder or a file to these side pieces here so somebody's tried to make it fit in the dash of another car um and it, it just looks shocking to be honest so now that i'm not uh, planning on keeping it pristine uh, do a full restoration on it i'm actually planning on modifying it um i might actually fit a, a radio a bit of a later era radio um, it's one with more uh, like uh, auxiliary jacks, RSA, RSA. God, it's been a few years since I've done audio systems. RSA outputs, um, RCA, whatever it is, anyway. Uh, and then uh, it'll have like a full interior fit out. It's going to be all fancy the interior. Um, I'm thinking about a Merc headlining with a Merc star, just blending into the headlining and stuff like that. Um, and then MB Tech's shoulders on the on the seats with a, a fabric center. Uh, it's gonna. I think I'm either gonna go with a single seat on the passenger side or two single seats. I don't like the double seats; they're not very comfortable at all. Um, and then the back's gonna have a. I'm gonna make a bulkhead panel for it and uh, sound dead in it. And then it's gonna have a really good audio system in it. So that's the interior plans. Um, the dash I'm gonna try and keep looking fairly original you know i have it as a happy medium of of uh updated and original so like the, the you know the patina all these bits are like like on these wings these just bolt on bolt off so it doesn't matter if they they have rust on them and stuff like that uh where people have tried repairing in the past i'll do that i'll sort that that's just bleeding ugly that is um 
And then it's uh, the, one of the first jobs that's going to happen to it is I'm putting it on air suspension, but it's going to be a budget air suspension. Um, my aim is spend maybe 500 to 600 quid putting it on air uh, using parts that uh, I've got lying around um, that I can beg, borrow and steal off my dad um, and friends and uh, acquaintances, I suppose. Um, there's going to be a few bits I have to buy and I'm planning on making it so that the switches all blend into the dash so there's two two holes there um, I might make it four holes move this switch over there and then have one switch for each bag um, but the switches are going to be like like that one there um, that style and then I'm going to make some custom panard arms um, trailing arms for the, the back axle and the front axle uh, and it should drop by about six inches the suspension is what I'm thinking um, but it's going to be all like look like it was like that from the factory so the I've got a, an air tank to go here I'll just grab it um, it came off a Unimog it's got a Merc Star badge on it oh, that door's locked that's convenient it's got a Merc Star badge on it look one of the Anybody that's ever done work on old Unimogs will know the badge I'm on about. It's like a stamped sheet metal badge. So that'll go, that'll go there like that. And then that's the badge there. Try and make it look, you know, keep keep the colour and the the mould and I mean the mould will wash off, but the rust and stuff like that have it so it looks original. And hopefully, if I talk to one of my uh, Unimog dealer friends, they'll have a, a second hand tank lying around that I can put alongside it because this is about four gallons. Really, you want about five for an air system, so if you have eight, that'll be plenty. So the the van's going to go on, on air suspension, like I say. It's going to be kept as simple as possible. Uh, no fancy sensors or anything like that. It's just going to go off pressures. Um, and then the bed is going to, I'm going to lower the bed by 90 millimetres, so that's going to go down 90 millimetres. So when the van's fully dropped, this tyre will be pretty much touching the timbers of the bed. That's what my plans are. And then uh, there's a few bits I need to do to the bed. I was going to replace the, the boards. And I think I'm going to have to replace at least a couple of them. Um, but if I'm going to go with the, the rat look come patina aging thing, I think I'll leave the boards now that I've had to think about it. And I'll just uh, lather them with some used engine oil. Um, and it should help preserve them for a few more years. Like this board here, I'm going to have to replace this board. But, you know, a lot of them I think, think will be all right. Um, or... I'll, I'll just get some larch boards or uh, Adam from Yorkshire Oak Frames. He often has a lot of offcuts, and he might I might be able to talk to him about getting some oak oak boards made for it, which would be extravagant, definitely. Um, and then the bits like this, I'm going to have to make this panel here, which is actually a lot more complicated than it looks, because it then steps down inside the wooden underneath. So it's quite a quite a complicated panel to make that is. So bits like that and then the front right's the worst part, a bit here on the back back right. So you can see from from about yeah from about there forward it's just rotten out quite badly. I originally was going to make a whole new back body for it but uh, now that I'm not planning on doing a full restoration I'll uh, just repair this one. So yeah, it's going to go down 90 millimeters. That's the first job, is to drop this bed by 90 millimeters. I think it will make it look so much more retro, old school, if that bed's dropped right down. So I'll get on with it and uh, do a time lapse of undoing all of those bolts that are holding that bed on. Shut up and sit down. <laughs>
and sit down. stings though anyway so there's a little bit a little bit to repair around where it meets the cab I'm not entirely sure what's happened there I think that's because of the spray that comes off the prop shaft spraying up at that point so what I might do is I might repair that and then make like a shield out of something like uh, aluminium or stainless steel that can go uh, above that but this side looks fairly solid looks pretty good so apart from them Patches there, the back of the chassis is absolutely mint. There's no rot whatsoever on it, which is excellent. It's absolutely, I couldn't ask for better to be honest, especially for its year. It is mint. Um, if, I, if I can motivate myself, I might just uh, rerun that wiring. Somebody's done a rewiring job at, at some point in the past. It's meant to go down the inside of the left rail, I think, on the chassis. Pretty sure that's where it's meant to. Yeah, you can see where the original wiring was there. So if I can motivate myself, I might sort that out. Somebody's done some brake pipes on it in the past as well. Um, they're not very well run, but they are solid, so I'm torn as to what to do about that as well. Yeah, do I uh, do I remake them while I've got the back body off? I don't know, we'll see. I don't intend to have the back body off for that long, really. I'm just planning on chopping them mounts down. So I've got, I've got the materials ready. I've already cut and drilled them. But I'm going to slice along there, 90 millimeters, shink, straight through, and then uh, just weld a new piece in. Things like these, I need to I need to chop that off really. Maybe maybe replace them for a bit of round tube because I'm going to have a canvas tilt on the back of it. That box made it a bit of a pain in the backside to lift off. I wasn't intending to be able to lift it off actually. I thought I might have to uh, I might have to get the Unimog in and uh, lift it off with the crane, but it wasn't as heavy as I expected. So so yeah. So the bag's gonna, I think how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna make some uh, 
trailing arms out of something like maybe I don't know really I don't know whether to go for something like 15 maybe 20 mil flat bar and then uh, have it so that it goes over the top of the axle steps down slightly and out and then the bag sits on behind the axle essentially and then make a uh, make a plate for the the bottom of this uh, I don't know what you call that really we'll just call it, call it the spring mount uh, I'll call it an outrigger maybe outrigger that's more of an outrigger that bit there I don't know what that bit is but anyway yeah so make a a plate to reinforce that and then have the springs sat on that the airbag sorry sat on that pushing up and down um, and then on the front front's a bit more complicated I might have to do maybe an inch engine lift lift the engine by about an inch on the front end to be able to get it to drop as far uh, but it doesn't look particularly complicated to do an engine lift on this old girl so uh, I think I've got plenty of room to be able to do that um, and then the eventual plan it's a bit of a pipe dream at the minute but the eventual plan for this old girl is to mid mount the engine do a mid mount engine conversion uh, I've got two engines in mine and I'm torn at the minute uh, as to which one I want to go with. Uh, a lot of it will depend on availability of the engine. Um, and to be honest, both of them are just as easy to put in. One of them, uh, I'll be able to just fit the engine in and it will be uh, obscene to begin with. It'll also have a kudos because uh, it's a very cool engine in the first place. Um, it's big capacity. Um, the other uh, will need a massive turbo banging on it, um, but it will rev its nuts off uh, and it will be awesome by the time it's done. So I don't know which way I want to go about it yet, but we'll, uh, we'll see and we'll find out. So I'll be cracking on with cutting these down tomorrow. So this will be included in this video, hopefully. So I'll get on with that. Cheers for now.